In the bleak midwinter of 2022, it will cost three quarters of the state pension to heat your home. The gas and electricity bills this winter for pensioners will take three quarters of their weekly income. By April of 2023, gas and electricity bills in Britain will reach £7,000 per year or £140 per week. The poorest will be plunged into utter poverty. The incoming Prime Minister, Liz Truss, would rather freeze the people than freeze the prices and has today set her face against any further help to the poorest people in Britain. Meanwhile, Lord Richard Dannett, the former head of the British Army, has said in the Times that it is time for the army generals in Ukraine to tell Zelensky that they can do no more, that they cannot throw the Russians out. As Peter Hitchens, the right-wing conservative columnist, in the right wing mail on Sunday today says the game is up, nothing but disaster for Britain and for the people of Ukraine can flow from continuing this idiotic war that was never necessary in the first place. And 60 years ago, this month, Nelson Mandela was arrested by the apartheid police and spent the next 27 years in prison, supported by MI6 and by the CIA. The United States only took Mandela off the terrorist list in 2008. And I myself saw Mrs. Thatcher's lips move and heard her say that Nelson Mandela is nothing but a common terrorist. Just think about that. Little Macron is chased out of Algeria. Perhaps the people there remember the massacre of their compatriots in Paris in 60 years ago. Algeria chased the French colonists from their country. Little Macron failed in his attempt to recolonize it this weekend. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy ride, Epstein and all, because it's the mother of all talk shows.